What's up guys, it's Nicole, AKA Nikki Vegan, and today I'm gonna to be showing you what I ate today while I was visiting home in Florida. Some of you know I live in California, I live in LA, but I like to go home and visit my family ever so often, so I'm gonna show you everything that I ate and some of the recipes that we made. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day, and on this day, I actually was making breakfast for me and my mom. We decided to have some oatmeal, and we just cooked old-fashioned oats according to the package directions with some water and a bit of cinnamon. And my mom has some really good fresh fruit around the house, so we had some peaches, pears, the kind of the brown skin, I love those, and also some banana slices. So I split that evenly amongst the two bowls. And then she has my favorite kind of dates, which are medjool dates. They're the ones that are really soft and squishy. And if you've never tried them, you have to, because they're super like caramelly and they're just these little bits of sweetness that are so good in oatmeal. And then we just put a couple of almonds on top, just raw almonds, and I couldn't resist. I had to put some of this amazing blueberry jelly on top or blueberry jam. It's about a tablespoon, but oh my gosh, it makes such a big difference in the flavor. Blueberries and peaches are just an absolute match made in heaven, and this is delicious. But of course, after taking a couple pictures, I had to put it in a big bowl and just mix it all around because real life. <laughs> but this was really awesome and it kept me full all morning. <laughs> For lunch on this day, we decided to go to a sushi restaurant and I wanted to show my boyfriend this place because I actually used to work there briefly. So it's kind of fun to take a trip down memory lane. And this place has really great veggie sushi, so nice vegan options. I got three veggie rolls and this just has asparagus with some avocado and cucumber and of course lots of ginger and lots of wasabi. This was so good and so filling and I also decided to treat myself to something that they call an Aloha Mr. Edison which is a pineapple cocktail. It has pineapple infused vodka with some pineapple juice and some pineapple and the pineapple gets really good towards the bottom because it kind of absorbs all of those flavors. And then I also got this all veggie roll with grated carrots, avocado, some more asparagus and then cucumber and I just dipped this in soy sauce as well and it was really delicious and very filling. For dinner on this day, I decided to make something that I always make for my family. It's a big crowd pleaser and that is just veggie pasta. But before that, we had some snacks. We love kind of just having snacks around the counter before dinner and just talking. So we had some late July tortilla chips with some salsa and some hummus and that was really good. And then I just took out all the veggies I could find in my mom's fridge. She had broccoli, carrots, onions, mushrooms, and zucchini. And then I also found this, actually my boyfriend found this at the grocery store. It's kind of like a, a Biata sauce was a little bit spicy and then my mom had these beefless crumbles in the freezer and they're really good for making kind of like a traditional meat sauce so I'm gonna show you the two sauces that I made here the first is all veggie and I just sauteed onions carrots mushrooms and broccoli and a little bit of water and you can add some salt and pepper and some Italian seasoning here if you like and then I boiled some linguine noodles and I like to make sure that they're just al dente no more than that ever since I went to Italy I learned the power of al dente and I drained that and then added two jars of pasta to the veggie sauce and then in a separate pot I added just sauce and um, the beef crumbles and that way if you wanted an all veggie you could or you could add the beef crumbles and make it kind of a mix. I wanted all veggie, that's pretty much why I did it. Then you're gonna take your al dente pasta and combine it with the veggie sauce and let it finish cooking like that and it just gets so delicious and kind of absorbs the flavor. With our pasta, I decided to make some salad with this awesome kale salad mix that my mom gets from Costco. And it comes with some cranberries and also some seeds. So I sprinkled that on top, but I used balsamic vinegar instead of the dressing that comes with it because it actually is not vegan. So be careful if you're looking at kale salad mixes, the dressings tend to have like egg yolks and stuff like that. Then I just served some pasta and sprinkled it with some Parmesan cheese, some vegan Parmesan from Follow Your Heart. And my mom lives in kind of a smaller town, so this is one of the only vegan cheese options that they have at her store, but it's a great one and it just makes me so happy to see more vegan products coming to smaller towns. I think that's so great. So we put that on top and then enjoyed this and the veggies just get so good because they cook together with that sauce and it gets lots of flavor. 
but it was vacation, so I was having a little bit of wine with my pasta and what goes better with wine than cheese. So I have this vegan chow cheese on some crackers and I ate a couple of those because vacation and treat yourself. <laughs> Speaking of treat yourself, I decided to make a delicious dessert. You guys, this was insane. I had a cupcake left over from when we went to the parlor bakery. This is a bakery in Boca Raton and it's an all vegan bakery. And this again is so cool to see this happening in um, kind of a smaller town. And this literally, you guys, was one of the best cupcake places I've ever been to. All the cupcakes and donuts and everything we tried were just, ugh absolutely insane as you can see this one has like a chocolate frosting i believe it was like a nutella so it had like a kind of nutella frosting with chocolate and fudge and some crunchy chocolate nut thingies on top it was just so freaking good so i put half of that in my bowl and then had two scoops of this toffee uh, crunch ice cream from so delicious and this is so good it's a cashew based ice cream so it's super creamy and you guys, as you can tell from my face, this was insanely good, super sweet and satisfying and the perfect way to end a nice, fun family vacation day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some good vegan meal ideas and I will see you all in a video very soon. Bye.